Hi, everybody, and welcome to the NIT. Brad Nessler alongside Dick Vitale. Thanks for joining us for this first-round matchup between the Boston University Terriers and the Tennessee Volunteers. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on tape? I think it's a major mismatch. You talk about David versus Goliath. I mean, they got to go out and play with no fear. They can't be worried. The Volunteers should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Next. Work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Third, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Both teams looking to get things going here. Now trying to feed the low block. And now they'll bring it up for the bucket. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move and good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Here they are on the low block on the move inside and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He goes to the line. Routine. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Puts it up, looking for contact. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Gave it up. Number five receives the ball. And up and gets it to fall. They're working around the arc on the inside. Number one is pounded on his way up. He'll get the free ones. He misses the first shot. He hits his second. Number two is feeling good. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Jumps into the defender. Here's the replay. Pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Look at that spacing. He blocks the shot. There's the trap. Doesn't go. With a deep shot from outside. Makes the shot. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he did great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball with a goal, score. around the perimeter. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? 
Tries for two. And in and out. Can't get the shot to go. Down inside. The skip pass is picked off. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There they come with a double team to stop it. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. They go into the low block for two. They still don't score. Feed the low block. Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if we can convert. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Second shot, good. A lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? He keeps his dribble as they reset. Stop and pop. They just can't seem to get a nice look at the goal tonight. They have to be patient on offense and find some easy hoops. Number 34 in the paint. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Number 13 handles the feed. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Goes up for two. That's good. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The power forward handles the pass. He makes a nice shot fake. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. Number 24 receives the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Teams are looking to get something going here. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. the dribble gives it up got to think right now got to focus defensively pump thanks tries to draw the charge and even he has to smile about this one I tell you kidding me that's one of the great acting jobs of all time get him an Oscar Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Watch the replay coming up. They work it around the perimeter. He up fakes. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Way off target.
for two. And he missed. Tries to get the D to bite. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Moving it around the perimeter. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Perfectly executed. Two. Can't get the shot to go. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He attempts the three. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Boston University are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. circle he forces another bad shot that is not how you win ball games mr nestler and the ball goes out of bounds puts it on the floor and up and under and in and out Shooter spotting up on a three. Looking for a screen on top with a great block. Number 21, pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Goes to the free throw line. Makes the first. That's a nine zip run. Misses the second shot. And Dick, they just can't seem to find the touch from the line tonight. Well, no time for lessons, Brad. They got to start knocking him down before it's too late, baby. Timeout's called on the court. They change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes a jumper. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. They still don't score. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. On the outside. There's the fake. 
Had to go up high with a shot. That was a brick, man. That was an ugly, ugly look. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. On the dribble, gives it up. They work the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented ones like they have. Yeah, that helps. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Gave it up. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. I think they shocked everybody, including us, Dick. We didn't think they could hang with this team. I'll tell you what, you're hanging very simply because they're executing. When you can execute and get good shots and you take care of the basketball, you get a chance to win. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork, it's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Blocked. The ball goes out of play. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. The Terriers are frustrated. They better be careful, or they could find themselves in really a nasty funk out there, Dick. They're going to have to turn things around fast, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. They work it around the perimeter. For two. And off the mark. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Volunteers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Tennessee are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Dick, he's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's a double team waiting there. Moving it around the perimeter. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. The zone is shutting down this offense almost entirely. Well, the gaps are covered and guys are talking out there. Picked off. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. That's eight on answer. Looking for a good shot. Up fake. Trying to draw the foul. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? Double team now. Bad angle. Shot off.
on the dribble gives it up they work it around the perimeter unloads he sinks another basket what are they going to do with this I don't know Brad but they better do it quickly for the bucket Tennessee are putting together a pretty good run here execution's been the key baby Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Puts up the tray, drains the shot. Push that basketball. Strips the ball. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Turnaround jumper, in and out. Number 21, subpar performance is just destroying his confidence. Someone may have to talk to him. He needs to get back on track. And you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards are there. Yeah, that helps. The ball goes out of bounds. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. They're definitely having some fun out there. Entry pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. Let's see the replay. Fires from long range. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. And that guy had 1,400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> Got a wide open look. They move it into the front court. Steal. On the outside. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Way off target. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Looking for contact. Got to make that baby end up wide open angle. And a chance to load on a glass, an easy do. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picks off the lazy pass. 
Look at that spacing. Takes away the pass. Tries for two. They're not doing a very good job of finding the hoop tonight, Dick. Well, they're not working the ball around. They're not finding the open man. Dumping inside. He attempts the trifecta way off target. At the end of the first half, the Volunteers lead by 20. This has been a good one so far, folks. Dick, what's your take is the highlight of the half? My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Boston University heads into the locker room after just a horrible half of shooting from the field. I mean, you're being kind. I don't even consider that shooting. I call that throwing up bricks, man, and prayers and hoping they would fall. Terrible shooting by this ball club. I cannot believe it. You can't win shooting like that. He makes the block. This is kind of what we expected, uh, Richard. You know, going into this ball game, we didn't expect it to be close in the first half, and it wasn't. I'll tell you what, David has really had a tough time against the Goliath. They have done a great job of Goliath coming out mentally focused and ready to perform. He shoots from left of the circle. No good. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Sinks it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Takes the shot. Ten on the shot clock. And in and out. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchups over there? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an expert. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Number 13 with the theft. You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Boston University have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. The friendly bounces aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the inside, here's a double team. He runs the fast break. Goes up for two. Goes in. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. <laughs> Tries for two. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. From the top of the circle, it sticks. Oh, 
Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Off the rim and no good. For two, can't get the shot to go. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the outside, for three, way off target. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the baseline. He drains the bucket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He strokes it. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. From way outside, the ball goes out of play. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Looking for a good shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. Look at that space. circle. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Way off target. Picked out of the air. Side. Number 13 makes a great move to draw the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. At the line. First one, good. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. And he'll kick it back outside. He looks for the bomb. Sinks the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Boston University is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Steals the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? For the bucket, off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Looking for a good shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. He unloads a three. Comes up short. On the outside. Way out on top. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. There's a high screen. They let him get into a rhythm. Big man spins down on a low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lead one way and spin back the other. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Way off target. Here's the toss back out from the post. I'll tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Tries for two, and he missed. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Number one draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number one to the line, shooting two. Gets his first. shot no good he gets the board on the dribble gives it up he goes for three he is just lighting it up Dick. he's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots Brad this tournament is truly something special, Brad. Since 1938, there have been many outstanding teams and athletes who have participated. There's definitely a lot of history. This tournament has been and will continue to be a big, big part of college basketball. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunities. Up and inside. Low block. Number four is pounded on his way up. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews. And what you've got in score for us, Aaron? Well, guys, as you know, it all comes down tonight to getting the stops and executing on offense, and that's what we've seen all night long. Thanks, Aaron. Them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon NBA. And he'll kick it back outside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He shoots from the top of the circle. Scorches the net. Now 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The crowd loves this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Some pressure, Brad, and looking for the steal as well. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Strong. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Step out on that screener. Number one with the foul. Second personal foul. There's the trap. Perfectly executed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. And he got them both. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. away he gets the shot to fall on the dribble gives it up jumped in front to take it away for the bucket Tennessee are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Yeah, they're really starting to pull an offense Nick I think there's a mismatch in the post you're right Brad there is a mismatch team now that angle gave it up on the dribble gives it up tries one from three-point land off the rim and no good look at that spacing work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance really to win. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. That's
That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. Basket falls despite the contact. From the top of the circle, he got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. A block from behind. My man was on a mission. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the top of the key. Jumps in. The land. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He lets it go. Way off target. Picks off the pass. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He puts it in with contact and all. On the outside, there's a double team waiting there. Tries for two. They still don't score. Mary's at home. it around the arc he throws it up from downtown drains the shot on the outside he shoots from the top of the circle he misses from the outside Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the inside. Looking for the foul. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. He shoots from the angle. Gets it to go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. Picked off. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Number 24 takes it away. They're going to move it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. The screener takes a big time blow setting that pick. He puts it up at the horn. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough.
Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Tennessee wins tonight in a blowout. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.